Hello everyone. Today I am here with a review of the Logitech Triathlon mouse, which I feel is a great productivity mouse for people with small hands. Please note that I am not incentivized by Logitech in any way. I just wanted to share our experience with this inexpensive mouse that punches above its weight. Here I will compare the Triathlon mouse to its bigger and expensive brethren, the hugely popular MX Master Series 2S and 3. A smaller but also equally popular MX mouse primarily designed for travel, the MX Anywhere, and a more economic mouse that is similar in size to the triathlon but misses out on some cool functionality, the Marathon mouse. We will compare the mouse on the basis of size, ergonomic features, basic functionality, extra functionality, and price. In terms of size, both the MX Master 2S and 3 come in at almost 5 inches in length and 3.3 inches in width. If you have small hands, which means the distance between the tip of your longest finger to the first crease of your wrist is less than 6.75 inches, you can see the challenge in grabbing such a large mouse. On the other end of the spectrum, the MX Anywhere comes in at just under 4 inches in length and 2.5 inches in width. While the dimensions of this mouse works fine for smaller hands, the shape is considerably flatter, much like an Apple Magic mouse. The Triathlon mouse shares the dome-like contour of the MX Masters, but splits the difference between the MX Master and the MX Anywhere's sizes, coming in at 4.5 inches by 2.9 inches. The Marathon mouse is slightly smaller at 4.3 inches by 2.8 inches. They are both sized just right for smaller hands. Let's talk ergonomics. There are different grip styles that people adopt when holding a mouse. A finger grip is where only the fingertips grasp the mouse. The palm grip is where most of the hand rests on the mouse. It is very comfortable. It is easier to palm a tall contoured mouse. In fact, the whole point of designing them in this shape is ergonomics. All of the contoured mice mentioned here, the MX Masters, the Triathlon and the Marathon also have a thumb rest of varying extent and a slight groove for the little finger. The MX Anywhere, due to its flat profile, doesn't really lend itself to the palm grip and thus to ergonomics. While you can palm the MX Masters with a smaller hand however, you can barely reach the scroll wheel. On the other hand, you can access the scroll wheel on the triathlon and the marathon mice quite well. Coming to basic functionality, all of the mice shown here feature left, right and middle mouse buttons, as well as forward and back buttons which are very useful to assign shortcuts. Other than the MX Anywhere, they all have an additional thumb rest button. All these buttons can also be recoded using the Logitech Options app. The scroll wheel in each of these can be toggled between fast, smooth scrolling and slower, more controlled, ratcheted scrolling with ticks. Other than the Marathon mouse, which works only wirelessly via the unifying receiver dongle, all the other mice work either wirelessly or via Bluetooth. Regarding extra functionality, the MX Masters and the MX Anywheres have always featured the ability to use them even on transparent glass surfaces. On my triathlon or marathon mice, I can confirm that they do not work well even on shiny surfaces like a granite countertop or plain surfaces like a white desktop let alone transparent glass. I have always needed a mouse pad. Another nice functionality to have is multiple device connectivity. All the mice other than the marathon mouse have the ability to connect with multiple devices. All of these mice also share a feature called Logitech Flow. You can drag a file across the desktop of one connected device to another. I have not used it much, but it can be potentially useful. Finally, the MX mice feature built-in rechargeable batteries. 
This is not shared by the triathlon and marathon mice. However, they are extremely efficient. The triathlon uses a single AA battery and can run for two years. And the marathon uses two AA batteries and can run for three years. Finally, we come to price. The MX Master 3 costs $100, which is somewhat whopping if you consider it's just a small accessory. You can possibly get the MX Master 2S for between $60 to $80 in various stores online since it is the previous model. The latest MX Anywhere is also priced similarly, around $80. The triathlon mouse costs less than $50 retail and often goes on sale for $30 or so. The marathon mouse retails for the mid-20s. So, to sum up, if your hands are smaller than 6.75 inches from the tip of your longest finger to your wrist, then the triathlon mouse will be a good ergonomic solution for you. The triathlon mouse is sized just right for smaller hands while allowing for a comfortable palm grip and it shares all the basic functions and even some of the extras of its much more expensive MX Master Brethren. If this was helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Tell me in your comments which ergonomic mouse have you chosen and why. Till next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.